Hello everybody and today I am back with a video which was mostly asked by um, most of the viewers and also on Quora about machine learning project ideas for beginners and um, what all machine learning projects can we add in our resume. So this video addresses that same, same point and you will find answers to questions like which topic to choose for your resume the source of your data set from where you will get that data, how will you approach that project, any supporting file, document or text or code can you get for that project and other ideas for machine learning projects to boost your resume. So we will kick start with machine learning project ideas for beginners and um, first of all why do you need to have a good resume because you have to show your ML skills to the to the company, to the people who are taking your interview because they want candidates to have diversified ML skills so that they can work in diversified areas depending on the need, dynamic time changing uh, needs of the industry, right? So um, you want to have a solid um, backing of various machine learning data science projects so you have to cover various fields like deep learning, NLP, computer vision, machine learning. So do projects in all these fields. If you have a rough idea of all these projects, it would be good. And so this would make a collective bunch of diversified set of projects for your machine learning resume. So let's just start for, now the first thing I just wanna cover is that few of the machine learning projects are already being done like um, most of the popular one is like breast cancer Wisconsin data set. You can find it in the playlist. Heart disease, I'll provide all the links, don't worry about it. Boston is a regression and um, regression data set, so you can have a hands-on experience on how to solve a regression problem, whereas the above two are uh, classification problems. Bind classification is a multi-label classification where you have to identify or predict three classes of bind, that's one, two, and three. And uh, the loan prediction is being done in my Udemy course, so link also I'll be providing. So these are already being done and they can be added in your uh, resume. Uh, what is not being covered and which can enhance your CV or resume is like, uh, so we first move on to the first field of data science that is the natural language processing, NLP. So what, what is NLP is basically that your computers, you are, they are processing and analyzing the natural language data and you want them to train in such a way so that they understand understand what we are trying to communicate to them. And NLP is a vast field which involves various uh, data sets, you know, you can work on with the various examples. You can work with text, sentiment analysis, audio speech data sets, or simple data sets. So let's first explore all these data sets and uh, I will be providing the link where you can source all these data sets too. Don't worry about it. So we move on to the text data sets. The most famous is the 20 news group. Here you've got approximately like 20,000 documents which cover 20 different news groups and you just identify text from it. There are meaningful information for that. So just, it is a data set for practice, Yelp reviews. So this is a very famous site for your reviews of um, eating and um, uh, where, where you dine in. So people mostly visit this website for, for making a decision where to eat out. So it contains more than 5 million views. So if you review this, this is a great help and will boost your CV. Another is WordNet. So this is like, it is a group of like synonym wherein you find, find this type of word and you will get a bunch of words with that. So you can practice these data sets. This is a text data set, analyzing the text. Next is sentiment analysis. As the name suggests, you have to, you know, analyze the sentiment, whether it is negative, positive or neutral. So you do it with different data sets like Sentiment 140, it is a classic data set which is already formatted that means you do not have uh, to pre-process this data a lot and you can just uh, practice it and it contains 6 fields some 160,000 tweets. And another is Twitter sentiment analysis for US airlines. So uh, these uh, analysis you can just classify them into positive, negative and neutral and how do you do it? It is because it is through NLP and different techniques which you use in NLP which makes this possible. So when you do this, these data sets, you will get a hands-on experience on how to deal with NLP and go into the field of NLP if you're interested in that. 
Next is audio speech data sets also, wherein if you are interested in this uh, free spoken digit data sets, wherein you it is in the recording and you understand the speech data sets. Another is spoken Wikipedia corpora, wherein um, hours of recording is there in this corpus and it is recorded in various languages and it also contains diverse set of readers and topics. So you can go ahead and see whichever suits your interest, do that data set, do that project. Now general data sets which mostly people do like are Amazon reviews, Google book engrams, Enron, Enron data set. It is, there's also one more very important which people do is uh, SMS spam filtering, uh, Gutenberg ebook list which you can practice for NLP and they, they will give you um, hands-on experience on how to really work with tokenizer and and how to remove this lemmatizing what all these things are so we can deal with all these things once you know how you're working on this data set the approach also comes in here that you you take one data set you start building that project and start answering the questions which come up like what is this lemmatizing doing what is this tokenizer doing and how is it working how is it affecting my data so this is how you can you should approach your project that like back engineering joining the dots questioning the answers or answering the question, sorry, which you faced by performing the data set. Next, I come to other project ideas. So the previous slides were a little um, monotonous, but now we are coming to more interactive slides. So the famous one is recommender system. Uh, so you've seen these recommendations for movies, restaurants, and for product like retail and uh, these marketing sites do like. So Netflix is the classic example for this, as you know. You get, you've got various uh, recommendations, you know, according to your choices you get. Amazon does this, Google does this, you've got Spotify, you've got Facebook, which is using these algorithms for recommending to the clients, to the customers as to what they should choose. And they're really earning good revenue. So if you are good in this recommender system, it is it will give you an edge that, okay, you can, you can also work on some recommender system. So uh, next we move on to big sales prediction, big, uh, this is, this is, uh, you have to build a predictive model here to find the sales of each product at a particular store. So Big Mart wants to improve, improve or increase its revenue and what it wants is that it needs to find out patterns and understand the, the properties of the products and the stores and how it can increase its revenue. So this is a project on that so if you just go ahead with this and deal how do you really really understand patterns from this so this is also a good example and mostly people do this thing just to get a hands-on experience on if you want to move into the retail sector and uh, want to work there as some analyst or manager or in some ml algorithm engineer next we go on to object detection mostly you should do this project because this will give you an uh, entry into computer vision and augmented reality if you want to go into this field. And it will use various deep learning um, algorithms, deep learning of libraries, CNN, and various uh, other, uh, I would say, deep learning techniques which have to be implemented, deployed in, in object detection. So what you do is, uh, you you as as you can see it in the image that you can also do it online live detection so build this model this is really very interesting and i am also working on this model so you can just detect anything which is kept on a table and this makes you makes your cv very very sound and powerful so go ahead with this object detection i would suggest yes object detection is is for your cv next is your chat box of course yes so this is this is a kind of an online conversation which is going on with a machine and a human and this just gives you immediate responses and you've seen it in almost now in every size. So you can either either communicate in the form of a text or in a form of speech. So go ahead and build chatbots. I will be providing a link wherein you can um, just go ahead step by step and how to build a chat chatbot chatbots and this will be provided in the description box. Please check it out. It's a very nice article. Next is this uh, landmark recognition system. I found it very interesting and I'll be providing a link, a PDF. This is a research project which was being done by a team and they have used 193 images of uh, 
from Google and they have simply used a classification algorithm SVM to classify images and as you can see that the algorithm with 93% accuracy was so correctly identifies the, the buildings as you can see here the skyscrapers and Empire State Building so what happens here is that um, they have trained this this model uh, with 193 images to correctly predict the any any landmark so what you can do is that if you are if you are working on this landmark recognition system and uh, now these days the mobile phones and smartphones they interact with the physical world and what we want is that uh, our devices should be able to predict and recognize the, the the object which we are seeing and that's what make them more smart so google and oculus fit are working for this uh, to bridge this gap between the virtual and the physical realities and what happens here is that uh, the augmented reality kicks in now so what you what you can make out from this project and how you can understand real life practical application for this that the scope lies in that when you build this algorithm this algorithm can be deployed into an application or an app and this can provide a real time feedback as images are taken so this can be deployed in an app you you incorporate that algorithm so it is like a win win situation wherein you have really made a difference in the life of people by making them you know making it easy for them to to identify any of the landmark in which they are visiting any tourist place in India or abroad so you can just um, use this but it requires a little understanding of like HOG which is the histogram of oriented gradients and other important techniques and terminologies which needs to be read and dealt with so put in a little effort and build some really classic machine learning projects more ideas and interesting ideas of such types i will be giving you a link and this is i found it in quora and there are a lot of uh, pdfs which have been available then you can go in the research and which is going on around the globe to have a better understanding of what are, are the projects people are working on and you can also start working on those projects so don't lag behind just catch the race and catch them and uh, i think this is the end of it and um Rest, I will be providing links, everything. So stay tuned for the next videos and thanks for watching.